Welcome to the eBusiness Boss channel. My name's Nick and today I'm going to be giving you guys a Shopify tutorial. So I'm going to be building a store from scratch in around about 10 minutes and it will allow you guys to look inside my process, how I set up Shopify stores for maximum success. And you guys will also see by watching this video, and we'll jump inside my screen, how easy it is to build a website on Shopify. So if you're interested in building a Shopify store, maybe you've just got Shopify and you want a bit of help setting it up, watch this 10 minute tutorial and I'm sure you're gonna learn something useful. If you're new here and you're interested in these sorts of topics, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell. That way you'll be the first to know about videos just like this. And we drop useful videos like this every single week. Let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is go down to the link in the description to this video and click the link I provided. This will give you a free 14 day trial uh, for Shopify. So next up, you're gonna need to enter an email. So you'll need a password, something you can remember and your store name. We're just gonna call this Pets Love Sleep. Completely random, but the little mini store I'm gonna be building today is just basically gonna be selling pet beds, dog beds, things like that. So with a few clicks, Shopify will start designing your store. And once you're in, you'll be given some options. So we're just playing around. Help me create my logo. And you'll just need to enter some details. Enter my store. Okay, so once inside, this is what the main dashboard looks like. So your main navigation options are on the left-hand side and at the bottom. And let's quickly go through and explain what they all mean and what they all do. So the first thing to mention on the homepage, if you go down, there's some really useful free training that you can take advantage of using Shopify's Academy. So I would take the time to do this. It literally is free one-on-one -on -one Shopify training. I found it really useful when I was setting up my very first store. So yeah, I'll also include a link in the description if maybe you want to check that out before you go up and take on the free trial. Over on the left, we've got orders. Once your store starts performing and orders are coming in, it will show you details of all your orders, your, even your abandoned checkouts over to the left hand side. So products, this is where we're actually going to enter our first product and we're going to enter our first one now. And this is going to be a fluffy dog bed. So you'll have to excuse some of the images uh, I've used because they're just random and it's just to give you guys an example, but they could look much better. This bed is amazing and it will help your dog sleep for ages. Add an image, this is the one we want. So really you'd want a nice square image. This one's a very odd shape, but I just found it to give you guys an example. Uh, you can tag your products, um, so and build out collections of products. But for the example here, 30 pounds, and this will be in the currency uh, where you're located. So because I'm here in the UK, uh, it's pounds, but if you're in the US, it will be dollars, uh, Canada, Canadian dollars, and so on and so forth. Quantity available, we've got a hundred of these and you'll need to enter your barcode. Uh, all of these details here, it's very, very self-explanatory. Right at the bottom, you're gonna have a chance to edit the actual SEO. So this is important. This is the snippet people will see on the search engine uh, like Google. So take the time to really take your time when you're adding products. Uh, let's save our first product and we're nearly ready to put our fluffy dog bed in the shop window. We've added that in. You can also, as I mentioned, add collections. So maybe you've got you want to group all of your dog beds in one collection, that would make sense. The same you might want to do with your cat beds, uh, parrot beds. I'm not even sure if parrots have beds, but there you go. So on the left, customers, and this will show all of the customers. Uh, if you've got existing customers that you've got permission to use and contact, then you can import a list of your previous customers. Uh, it will also show you which of your customers opt in to marketing messages, which is going to be important. Analytics. So once your shop is live and kicking, this is a really useful area to see what's going on, how many returning customers you're having, how many people are adding to car, and really your, your conversion rate is going to determine how good your website looks and I suppose how sort of reasonably priced your products are and everything like that. But you, you can really see what's going on and yeah, change your efforts, change the look of your store to improve all of these metrics. So it does get really interesting once traffic starts pouring in, which it will do if you set everything up properly. So marketing, this is where you can set up things like your Google ads and your Facebook ads, and you can actually create campaigns and they'll help you do all of that. So a little bit in depth, not 
we won't have time to go into this in full detail. I want to show you guys as much as possible. Discounts. This is pretty cool. If, uh, say, Black Friday was coming up, we could create a discount code here. And what would we call it? Uh, Black Friday 30. And we'd give everyone 30% off. And we'd say to the entire order, order, but you could just go collections or products and pick a product in particular. And you've got minimum requirements, customer eligibility. I always limit these to one use per customer so that they don't get you know, rinsed. Uh, but I suppose if you're happy to give away 30% uh, and it can still be profitable for you, then why not uh, just leave that unticked? Yeah, once we've saved that discount code, we can give this discount code out to people, maybe run a marketing campaign on Facebook, Instagram, uh, to show people they can get 30% off your super cool products. And in our case, our super fluffy dog bed. The next important section to mention is the app section. So this really allows your website to connect with any integration. When it comes to Shopify, they connect with basically everything. Obolo, if you're a drop shipper, this is a really useful method for drop shipping. Uh, not something I do, but I know a lot of people that use Obolo and love it. So Obolo is actually owned by Shopify. I'm uh, not sure if you knew that. Product reviews. So this is another really popular one. So if you've got your products up and you want customers to be able to leave a review on your product, uh, apps like this will, will help. We use loads of apps. One of our best apps is because we've got an Amazon business, we use uh, an app called Orderdesk to connect uh, to our European uh, Amazon FBA fulfillment centers. So orders come in on Shopify, go through Orderdesk and connect to our Amazon FBA European fulfillment centers, which means we can sell products on our Shopify store and Amazon will fulfill them for us. Pretty cool. So let's start building out this store. I'm trying to keep this quick for you guys. So a brief explanation of, of some of these buttons. So blog posts, this is where you can add blog posts to your store. A uh, really useful part of anyone's content strategy, I think, to add blog posts in. Maybe if you're selling dog beds, for example, we could write up some blog posts about helping people's pets uh, settle at night. Or maybe we could talk about an informational article to do with dog behavior problems. Anything that might relate to your products in some way. Help your customers solve a problem because what we're interested in is writing about the problems your customers are facing that maybe your product might solve. Anyway, that's a discussion for another time. The pages section here. So this is all the static pages like your about us, contact us, uh, maybe your returns policy, all very important pages, but this is where you'll set up your static pages. The navigation section, this just refers to your main menus. So at the top to start with, we'll just have home and catalog, but you can add in, you know, about us, uh, returns, anything that you think is going to help your customer. And in the footer, we might add our privacy policy, uh, links to things like that. So this is where we control our menus. Domains. So if you're building a serious Shopify store, I'd recommend going somewhere like GoDaddy or Namecheap and buying uh, the domain name of your brand. Maybe for us, it was Pets Love Sleep. So I'm not sure if that would be available or not, but PetsLoveSleep.com buy that domain and um, Shopify will host everything for you so you can connect to your existing domain once you've bought it. Uh, if you say use someone like GoDaddy, they will run you through exactly how you can set up that connection. But Shopify give you step-by-step -step guidance on that. So um, yeah, very straightforward. Preferences, so this is just to do with SEO for your homepage really. So you'd want to set out you know, the main keywords you're targeting your brand name um, in the title here and the meta description this is what people will see uh, when they find the snippet to your home page on the search engines so you can also link up your google analytics account uh, by posting the code from google analytics here facebook pixel this is a really really important part of anyone's retargeting strategy I would take the time to maybe understand how you can use Facebook pixels with Shopify uh, because it's a really easy way to retarget customers that are coming onto your store. Let's jump into the online store then and start building out our store. You can go for paid themes, but today we're just gonna go for a free one. Let's go for Brooklyn, add Brooklyn. So obviously I'd take much more time designing this store, but uh, I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial so you can take as much out of this as possible. Let's have a look. So once we've installed it, let's go customize. I'm trying to keep this tutorial to 10 minutes if I can, uh, but apologies if I go straight over. Hopefully this is giving you guys some value. So again, always on the left-hand side with Shopify, you've got your main navigation bar. The header is this section up here. Uh, the slideshow refers to what you can see here, the hero banner. Uh, you've got a rich tech section, which maybe you can like they say, talk about your brand, uh, a collection list, 
and very important, a newsletter here. So this is the product I added in, uh, our fluffy dog bed. So you can see they're already displaying it on here, but we're going to move this around a little bit. So let's tidy this up. Let's get rid of rich text, collection, feature collection. Let's customize this. First of all, if we click on the header section, you can see this is called the announcement bar. So maybe we put something here like free shipping, free shipping for orders over 50 pounds. Obviously, because I'm in the UK, that makes sense for me. That's pretty cool. I think the announcement bars are really useful point of your store to use because you literally you can let customers know about any upcoming promotions. Maybe you want to use your discount code in there. Uh, it's really, really useful. So let's change the look of this bit here into the slideshow. Let's go slide, select image, and we're going to use this image I found earlier. Select. I'm sure you're, you'll agree that looks quite cool. Um, so we'd want to just customize some of this. We love to help your pets sleep. Whatever you want on there, let's go save. And our store's starting to come together and it's really not taking very long, as I'm sure you guys can see. So let's add a section in here. Let's go featured product. Let's select the product we've already created, which is the fluffy dog bed. Save, I'm pretty happy with that. And we can move this around. So we'd probably want our fluffy dog bed just above here. So yeah, that's starting to look quite cool. Yeah, uh, you can see this store is really starting to take shape. You can use the buttons at the top. Let's just save it. But you can use these buttons here to see what it might look like on a mobile. This is how cool Shopify is. It literally does all the hard work for you. Look at that. So our homepage is looking quite good. Could look better, but we've got the basics on there and we can preview it. Yeah, I think that's really, really cool. So I hope you guys can see how easy Shopify is to, to use uh, within around 10 minutes, maybe slightly longer. I've just set up a very basic Shopify store and we've added our first product. Uh, this guy looks happy in our fluffy dog bed, so that's quite cool. And yeah, I hope you guys can see this is really, really easy to do. If you want to take up the free trial, go into the description, use the link I've provided, start building out your store, follow the instructions that I've run you guys through. And I really, really hope you found this useful. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. And yeah, if you guys found this useful, please smash the like button. And if you're interested in videos like this, please subscribe to the eBusiness Boss channel because we put out useful videos like this every single week. And remember to turn on that notifications bell. Guys, there'll be more from me here and us here at eBusiness Boss very, very soon. Thanks for watching.